Aloha. Go live. There you go. Good morning. Happy Monday. Are we live? Are we alive? Come on in. Yes, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Aloha. Back to Hawaii. Well, we never left really, did we? <clears throat> Come on in. It's a little bit overcast here today, which is rather lovely. <laughs> it's a funny old world, isn't it? We always wanted the sun. Good morning. Come on in. We always like the sun and then it gets too hot. I mean, last week I couldn't function properly. I do apologise. It was just too much for me. i obviously not getting any younger. Uh, it got just, it was just unbearable under, under the roof here. And it, once it cooled down, I went back to normal again. <laughs> there you go. Come on in. Lovely to have your company today. We're still in Hawaii. We decided you go all that way. You're not just going to go for a week. And also, I mean, look at the size of the artwork. It's like a mural. <laughs> a muriel, isn't it? I know, we overcooked it a little bit. But that's all right. That's all right. Loads of different little tricks and tips. We're going to have a, going to have a fun today. These hula girls are not easy, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you now. <laughs> it's all right, though. Practice, practice, practice. Come on in. Take a seat, get your coffee, get your tea, and then we'll get cracking. It's good to have your company. I've been looking forward to this morning. I've really been looking forward to this morning. I spent the whole weekend in Hawaii, and so have most of you. Blimey, that inking, eh? <laughs> it's a good job we did it over the weekend, didn't it? Otherwise, we'd spend the whole week inking. I know, it took forever. It took forever. But it's all right. Some of the, your artwork on uh, Clarity Worldwide was absolutely beautiful. Some of you coloured in. Well done. So a word of warning today, just so that you can all chill and enjoy and just have fun, right? It's not a problem. If your hula girls don't quite cut the mustard. <laughs> My mum are a bit ropey too. It's not a problem. Because I actually did do, uh, I did do them, I got them once. I kind of hit the sweet spot. <laughs> and, uh, and so we've already prepared a, a digi download of the whole piece for you. So that then tomorrow, um, you can print that off. And then tomorrow when we start colouring in, it won't be a problem. Because you'll all have, you'll all have a spare won't you? You see, and if you don't like the hula girls, don't spoil your artwork. Just say, right, I'm not going to put them in there. <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not putting them in there. I'll do, I'll do something different. I'll do a turtle. I'll do a tropical fish. I don't know. But you know, who, what do I know? You're, you may be absolutely experts at hula girls. <laughs> My neck slept wrong. Come on in. The point I'm making is, that today is just about letting your hair down and having a go, right? Because I thought, well, they are quite hard. Maybe we shouldn't attempt it. And then I thought, well, that's rubbish. If you don't try, you'll never know. It's like everything. It's the same as the whole thing that we've been, we've been doodling and drawing for months now together, you know. And many of you had no idea how good you were until you tried, did you? You know, and there may be a handful of you there who will be so good at hula, hula girls. There may be hundreds of you there that are good at, maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe it was me. The hands, I couldn't get the hands right. Oh, my neck. But we could always pose, you know. What we're trying to do is, you know, that kind of, it's the movement, isn't it, of the grass skirt. <laughs> so right, come on in. We're going to have some fun this morning. She's back in the saddle. What's the time? 10 o'clock. Good morning. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. Our Stuart's in the building with you this morning. So if you have any questions, he's your man. 
And just so that you know what we're up to this week, we were in Hawaii last week. And for those of you who've just joined us and wondering what on earth is going on, uh, we doodled in Hawaii all week last week. And we did so much that we ran out of time. And then we said, you know what? We've been here, so we've gone such a long way. We'll hang out another week in Hawaii because I thought it would just be fabulous to one, finish the job, the job, the, the drawing job, and two, to colour in our own work, you know? I think there's something, uh, there's a lot to be said for, for creating a, a piece of artwork from start to finish that's all yours, you know? Brilliant. So, so let's have a look at what we're doing today. Are you ready? Don't want to rush you. I mean, we're here all week. We haven't got a rush. Did you see it on, uh, on my blog yesterday even, evening? Meli Gully Ki Maka. Happy Christmas. Yeah, Bing Crosby. If you didn't, if you didn't uh, listen to it, it's fabulous. Uh, BarbaraGrayBlog.com. Go and check out um, the, the YouTube that I, I posted, I embedded in my blog. It's so lovely. And uh, it's, that, it's that lovely uh, ukulele, that music. It's just so, so Hawaii, so island, isn't it? Gets you right in the mood. So, talking about getting in the mood, shall we have a look what we've done so far? This is, it's not bad, you know, for a week. <laughs> Come on in. Let's have a look. Did you pen yours nicely? Aloha. This is, let's have a little recap of all the things that we learned last week. First of all, we learned that lovely script writing, almost like a stencil. Did you know that you are now stencil designers? That would make a smashing stencil, wouldn't it? Mm. And then we learned these fantastic patterns. These Polynesian tribal patterns. They were lovely, weren't they? Those three. And you know, it's funny because it does look busy, but it's exactly right, isn't it? It just feels right for this particular piece of artwork. And I've been thinking all weekend, it's been my weekend obsession, what to do with the background here because I don't want to over busy it and I've been looking carefully at what you're doing because several of you have finished colouring in you 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 know you're ahead of us and that's wonderful and I was looking somebody coloured it in black that was very dramatic then somebody else did it in pink that looked beautiful and I almost I mean we don't have to get to it till we get to it but I was almost at the, in the early hours this morning I thought you know what it would look beautiful in the background if it was like it went from lighter a light to a dark like like a, a like maybe a like an ombre that just went from a really light beautiful turquoisey blue down to a beautiful sea green i don't know i'm not sure yet jury's out thinking 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 then the other thing you know that's the thing about this this particular piece of artwork and i don't know if it's got if it's if it's done this for you as well it's a massive distraction um sort of between our get togethers we get together in the shack shack we had a little bit but then for me it's been um in between thinking about it all the time and it's not a negative it's a real positive because it's a creative thought process you know I, I, I really have appreciated the, this, this particular uh, doodle. I really have. So what, what we've got, we did the, the patterns, didn't we? Ah, and then we did the, the bamboo, which is fab, fabulous. We did the hibiscus. That came out lovely. Then we did palm trees. Lots of you were really happy with your palm trees in your boats. Then we did, oh, and then not to forget, we did our decal photos. We did our lays. We did a surf shack. Uh, we did little surfers, shark attack. We did some really lovely um, surfboards, didn't we? Really done loads, actually, when you look at it. And you think about all the different, you know, when we talk about our toolbox, 
We talk about how we're, you know, every day we get together and we put another little thing in our toolbox, you know, and not just, it's, it's not just drawing tricks, is it, and colouring tricks, it's, it's clearing the mind, you know, I was interested to see several of you this weekend were also anxious, I'm not alone, you know, um, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's like, it was almost better when we were on lockdown, because at least we knew then, 100%, that was it. And now it's like the lid's off, and I'm not sure. Half the country are filled with fear, and the other half are oblivious. I don't know. And I think I'm in, I'm in the filled with fear half. <laughs> and I think most of you are as well. <laughs> strange, strange times. So there we've got our toolbox, and we're filling it with, with things to cope, aren't we? And, and I noticed that several of you were up in the middle of the night over the weekend and what did you do? You got your toolbox out and you started doodling. Somebody was doodling hibiscus, somebody was doodling bamboo. And I thought, yes, yes, that's exactly what the toolbox is all about. Brilliant. Right, come on then. Are we up? <laughs> Am I procrastinating? Not at all. Now, before we even start, I don't want anyone throwing all their toys out the front. I don't want anyone saying I can't do it because you don't know until you try, okay? And, and the thing about hula girls is they come in all shapes and sizes. They do. I looked them up, okay? They come in all shapes and sizes. So it really, it, it's entirely up to you what size grass skirt she's wearing, okay? <laughs> And another really cool thing is when you, because they put um, flowers around their ankles and their wrists, which is really, really handy because that's the bit that's difficult to draw. Right, are you ready? Are you going for it with me? Come on then. Happy Monday. I'd rather be here than anywhere else on earth. There. There. So there's our overlay. You know how I always do it on a, on a bit of tracing paper so that I don't go straight to task. So you can see here what I've done. I've got a couple of cheese plants. Oh, no, not cheese plants. Right, let's have a look up close. Hang on, where are we? There they are. There's the three of them. <laughs> All right, the hula girls. It's all about the movement. So we've got some cheese plant leaves in the corner and then we've got three hula girls, okay? Now we already know how to do legs and feet because we did them when we went to Africa, remember? So this is what we're going to do today. Now, my suggestion, can I make a suggestion that we go on, we go on a bit of paper first and we try on a piece of paper. You see, let me... Let me tell you what I do. I'm not saying that you're going to do it, but I, I just want to explain how I arrive at a drawing. See, now, first thing, I take a piece of tracing paper or parchment, something that I can see through. Tracing paper's good. And then I draw on a bit of tracing paper, you see? And then, and then I draw on a piece of tracing paper. Look, like there, look, I'll show you. You'll see it in a minute. It, I used, to, I used to do spelling checks. I used to check my spelling like this by folding and folding. Let me show you. Look, see? Look. <laughs> that wasn't, it wasn't instant success here, guys. Right? I didn't suddenly just go, oh, that's it, hula girl. Look at this. <laughs> but she's got her pyjamas on underneath. She's got harem pants on underneath. It's all right, I was trying to get the movement. The point I'm making, look at her lips. <laughs> See what I do is I draw it on a piece of I draw it on a piece of tracing paper, then I fold it over and then I go again. See? And then I think, yes, nailed it. Love her. You see what I mean? So she was a bit ropey. She definitely needs to lay off the pasta. Right? But actually, it's just the skirt. The skirts are not very flattering, are they, these grass skirts? Let's face it. See? So you can see what I'm doing. 
I draw it, then I fold over, and then I draw it again, and then I and then I eliminate the bits I don't like until. So I'll go with a piece like this. I'll go fold, 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 fold until I get the girl I like. And when I get the girl I like, then let me explain what I. Do. I'm only explaining what I do. I'm not saying buy a light wave, but I know that loads of you have got one. See, so then what I do? Let me just show you this. This is all, I've always got one handy. It's got nothing to do with parchment for me. I mean, obviously I use it for parchment too, but let me just show you, right? It's just, it's just to give you a clue how I do it. So, so I've done my, on my tracing paper, say, I've done that because I did three of them tracing. I only need one good one because they're all the same. I just go one, trace the next one, two, trace the next one. So that's another reason to do it on tracing paper because then I can just move it along. Look, show you. If I like her, for example, right, then I can take her, I can put her underneath on the tracing paper and because I've got the light wave, I can trace her. And then once I've done her, then I'll trace the next one. And I'm using the same one. I haven't got to draw three girls. I've just got to draw one girl well. And I don't even have to draw it, the good one. This could be on a piece of paper. Look, I'll show you. If I, look, tell me I wasn't practicing. She's good. See? So then I put her, she's on a bit of copy paper. But when I put her, so the light wave goes through copy paper and copy paper. Do you see what I mean? So, so now the light's shining through two sheets of copy paper and I can still trace it into place. I just wanted, and so what I do, because I need a clean one to work with with you, I put mine on tracing paper, so I've got what we call an overlay. But all I've done is taken her, put a piece of tracing paper, there we go, see? Trace her out and she's in exactly the right place. I'm just explaining the purpose, why a, a light wave is such a good thing. And, and, you know, back in the day, back in the day, I used to use the window, you know, you sellotape your work to the window, but it, it's quite hard. Um, to, I find it quite hard standing upright. I prefer it down, especially with the, for parchment, it's rubbish to do that on the window. But you understand the point is, is you're getting a light from underneath and it really, really helps. Okay. Now, let's get going then. And I back to basics. We need a piece of cop. Right, are you ready for this? Okay, come on. I've procrastinated. Now. Bit of copy paper. What do you need in the Shack Shack? You need nothing except a pencil, an HB pencil, little bit of inspiration and then and now we're going to do a hula girl we'll do one if you've got if you've got some tracing paper grab it it will help you if not don't worry about it right so what we're going to do first is do our hula girls we'll just do let's just practice on here you can always transfer them later right length or height if she's going to sit so i've measured it all out if she's going to sit in here or there's three of them, aren't there? Going to sit in there, like there, like so. These girls are five centimetres tall. Okay, I know that. I've measured them several times. It's been my obsession of the weekend. There you go, five centimetres. So, what we'll do is, let's just make a little line, like so. We're practicing. We're not doing straight to best because tomorrow is when we start colouring, isn't it? So all we've got to do today is get these hula girls in, inked, ready to go. Alrighty. So, girl, five centimetres. Let's just make sure she's the right height. Five. Not too bad. We're going to practice them, see? I did try to dress a, a carrot in a grass skirt, but it didn't. It wasn't really going to happen. Right there you go. Couldn't get the movement on the carrot. That was a trouble. <laughs> Wouldn't sway in the wind like I wanted it to. So what we're going to do now? Are you ready? If these are, if these are 
Um, look, if I put it there like that, it's that way round. We want them all looking that way, right? So that's the, that's the sort of, see how it sits in the five centimeter piece like that? That's what we're trying to achieve. So let me, let's come in a bit closer, I think, right, at the risk of, I reckon if we come in a bit closer, that will help, won't it? So you can actually see these girls. It won't take long once we get going. Right, you ready? So if that's the girl, the first thing we want to do is put her head and we're going to, you know, like I'm always saying, draw it before you touch the paper. You know, like you draw it like that, but the head's going to be about there like that. Right, there you go. So that's the head. You leave a little bit for the hair. She's going to have a flower in, uh, in her hair, a big flower there. We'll put that in in a minute, right? And then her, her, she's going to have a, a neck, clearly, right? So we put the neck in like that. Now, when you come down, break, you're going to break, we're going to break this down. Down here now, just come down at a slope. And her arm is going to be about there. Let's just make her arm. I know she looks a bit like a stick lady, but that's all right. For the first one, let's just get the sort of direction right. I think you've got to know that you're not going to get it immediately. It doesn't work like that. Well, it didn't for me. It might for you. But if that's her elbow going in that direction there, then we're going to bring her arm up like so. Right, so there's a wrist now, let's say. So she's going to have, and then her hand. Now we've got choices. We can either make her hand cup like that. You can see what I'm playing at now. So there's like a cup. Or you can turn it round. Let's do one of each. So this one is like the cup. So she's holding her hand like that, right? And then the other one, over the other side, let's get the, the neck right, like so. And this one, this arm, is out this way. Just get it in the right place first. This is over the top now. And then this one, let's get the arm in. Get the elbow in. See, she's got, this is what I was saying, it's really handy that they have all the flowers around their wrists. And then this one, it's going to be the other way. So the fingers are pointing down. Do you see? Like that. So she's got a delicate little hand and it's going like that. Uh, delicate. Right, so we've got one hand doing that and the other one doing that. Okay. Don't say anything yet because it's not finished. It ain't over until the fat lady sings and she hasn't even started yet. So we've got our, her arms, right? Let's get rid of that. Have you got a rubber with you? Because <laughs> you need one. Right, here we go. So then... Right, let's just, so the hula girl, look, let's have a look at her now. It's the flowers here, right? Let's look at the flowers, the lay. It's called a lay, okay, lay. Now the lay comes round here. Do you remember, let's just do little, like we did, we did it on the, it was hanging off the postcard. What I would suggest, though, is that you just do a little gentle, just like squiggles. So they look like flowers, but they're loose. There you go. So she's got a lay. That'll do. And it's gone up over the boobs and back round underneath. There you go. So now her arm's in the right place. This would be great. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I'm going to need a lie down after this. <laughs> you got to look at the funny side of it. There we are, hundreds of us. Oh, drawing. Drawing a hula girl. <laughs> right, now, let me concentrate. Hang on a minute. So before I bodge her elbow, right, get her elbow back in, Barbara. Okay, she's got her elbow in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the skirt. It's quite trendy. It's hanging off her waist, right? It's not, it's not a high rise. 
Okay, it's a hipster. So make a kind of a, because this makes a big difference, you see. Because they do hang it, it's not, it, wouldn't that look ridiculous if it was right up? That would make her look really, no, it's, it's, it's hanging off the hips. Okay, so make it come down a little bit, like so. That's the, it's got quite a big waist, my one, but it's not a waist, is it? It's the hips. All right, come down a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to get the old, the skirt in. So if you've got the, the waistband in, and then we're going to get the skirt in. Let me just have a think here for a minute. So the legs are going to be here. The foot's going to be there. So the, the skirt's going to go like that. And then this bit's going to go like that. Yeah, it's quite slim, this one. Right, and then this, this bit's going to come round the back like that. Okay, so that's that's about right. Okay, so now we've got the old grass skirt going. That'll do. And then this bit comes up. Right, so one foot. Let's, let's get her leg in the right place. If you could see through her grass skirt, then her leg would be coming down like that. And she's, look, check her out. Hang on, this one. There you go. See? So her leg's coming down like that. She's ever so fit, this one. Got it? So that's like that, and that's like that, and then the leg's coming down here. Right, now leg. So down we go, like that. Bit shapeless, but that's all right. We can work that out afterwards. And then she's quite... Down it comes. There's the toe. Yeah? There you go. We've done this before with the Africans, you remember? And if her ankle looks a bit ropey, it's all right, because we're going to put some flowers around that. <laughs> okay. So there's a foot. It's like a triangle, isn't it? Little ankle. Bit of shape. She's been practicing for this luau for weeks. Right, and then the, the other leg. So this leg, so if that was to go up there, if you could see through the grass skirt, then this leg would come out like that but we're going to bend it. So we'll bring it in like so. There's the knee, like that. Maybe behind the footy, behind that leg. There you go. And we'll just bring it down so it's a little bit further around the back. There's the ankle. It, come on, hands up. Who's been practicing hula girls all weekend? <laughs> I bet there are some of you that have. You knew I was coming for it. Right, there you go. She's quite skinny, this one. There's a foot, there's a heel, round she goes, up she goes, and there's the, the skirt, the grass. So it's very forgiving, really. See? Right, her foot's a bit ropey, but that's all right. This is all right. There you go. So now the hair, we'll get the old hair in. Right, so we've got her face in. We cool with this? Not a face yet. Now let's put a, a flower in her hair. This is gorgeous. There you go. And then we're going to do a lovely swirl. I thought to get a bit of a flow going, I thought we could go all over one side like that. There you go. Here, that's her hair. And then we'll give her a headband. There are so many different ways to do this. Perfect. Christ, she's got big hair. <laughs> it's all right, though. It's all right. It's in, flying in the breeze. If it's a bit too big, we can always bring it in a little bit, can't we? <laughs> Actually, I quite like it big. I've got a hairdresser's appointment, 23rd of July. Woohoo! Karen, who's one of my best friends, is also my hairdresser. She was my bridesmaid, gorgeous, gorgeous lady. She um she does my hair and she she texted me at the weekend and said how do you fancy a hairdo on the 23rd? I thought, oh, you'd, I thought you'd never ask. So I've been cutting my own hair, which is a little bit extreme. Right, now the only thing you have to decide is, is it a bit too revealing the way her leg's hanging out? Because if it is, you can always lower the grass a little bit, can't you? <laughs> Make it, yeah, like a kilt look, it's coming down a bit. That's not bad at all. Much better. So are you happy with your with your girl, girly. What do you think? 
See, mine's all right, actually. I'll show you on the other. I told you there are no experts in this, in this building. You see? She's got, her hair's a little bit extreme, isn't it? I might have to thin the hair out a bit. <laughs> She's got way too much product in her hair. I think it's about having fun as well, you know? I think it's about just letting go. Let your hair down. Give it a go. What's the, oh yeah, that looks a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. See, I love that you can have a bit of paper and a pencil and you can draw whatever you like. You can't, you can't imagine the, 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 it's so cool that you can, you can draw anything you fancy, anything. There is nothing that you, you can't try to draw and, and it may, it may come out, you know, come out a bit ropey at first but what's amazing is the more you do the better you'll get at it it's it, it's just the truth and we know don't we us lot that have been in the shack shack since since march it the more the more often you 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 give it a go the the better you get because your confidence builds you know and as your confidence builds there you go, flowers round her wrist. And as your confidence builds, so does your, your courage, if you like. Now she's got a bit of a thick ankle, but that's okay. We can cover that up with flowers, look. And at the front. There, she's really looking good now. She's got flowers round her neck. She's got hipster, she's got a right old, good old hip going there. What do you think? I'm really pleased with her. Yeah? I can't read what you're saying. <laughs> I can't. Is that a good thing? Is that a good thing? Should we come on? Right, now, let's do the cheese plants. Let's, what we'll do now is we'll park the girls, the hula girls, and we'll go to the cheese plants, right? I find often when you leave something to percolate a little while. What glasses have I got on? I probably would have done better if I'd worn these. If, you, if you're drawing something and, and it's a challenge, then often it's good to just stop and then uh, go to something less challenging, simple, or just walk away altogether. And then when you come back, it's like your mind has just adjusted a little bit and you've it, it works like that for me anyway. Uh, often, if I'm working in the evenings on a piece of artwork, by the, end of the day, by the end of the evening, I look at it and I think, oh, this is not good, this isn't going well. But when I come back, I don't throw it away. I've learned not to sling it. And then in the morning, I come in and I look at it and I think, actually, this is a lot better than I remember it. Do you know what I mean? It's funny how it works like that. Let me just check that I've got enough battery because I can see that my batteries are going down. Oh, we may have to... What do I do if the batteries go down? We'll be all right. I reckon we'll be all right. I'll check. If the batteries go, then I'll see you tomorrow and we'll be colouring. <laughs> right, so come on then. Let's park the hula girls and let's look at the cheese plants. These are easy. Should we have a look? Park the girls. We'll sort them out in a minute. Right, cheese plant. There are three leaves here. So we'll put one in the corner. These are ever so easy to do. Now you're just gonna go like that. If it's like that size, we'll put these in first before we put the girls in because the girls might sit behind the cheese plant. Let's put one there like so. That's your, your outside edge of the cheese plant. So you see that all right? And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come down, so it kind of comes in like that, and then it goes over and come down, and it, it, it gets holes in it, doesn't it? Like that, look. You can make as many of these as you like. Up you go, like that. 
piece of cake really. That's the centre line there. Let's call it, that's the middle bit. And then this side here, we can, again, we can come in from the side. So the cheese plant's going to be quite big on that side. Look, there you go. Wee. Right, and then it's got other holes. It, it's, it's a big one. So it's got more holes than... Very authentic, eh? That one there, I might bring right in. Like that. That'll do. Right, so that's my first cheese plant leaf. And then I'll put another one down here on the front. So let me put down the, the first line so I know where it's going to go. And then I can come round and I can add the... There we go. And that's the, first, that's the second one. And then the third one, this is different to what I've done. It's a little bit bigger. That's all right, though. Cool. It's a lot bigger. Her feet are going to be right behind that. So, if you <laughs> And then we'll put another one here. But we'll make this one come up this way. So we'll do that like so. Yeah. And then this one's going to be, that's the centre vein. And then this one will be... Nice, like that. These are quite simple, aren't they? There you are. So there's your cheese plant. Little cheese plants at the front. And then you've got your hula girls in. Yeah. Then you've got your hula girls in. I've certainly made my cheese plants a lot bigger on this one, haven't I? Well, there's an answer, you know, if you if you only want to do two hula girls. Look, see how much further I've come in. She's going to be hidden, isn't she? That's all right, though. So then the girls, they're going to come in right in the centre like that. The little five centimetre dollies. So I'm going to put them about there. That's where they're going to sit in there like that. OK. So we're going to start with this one here and then work our way that way. So the first one's here. Do you want to have a go or do you want to do this on your own in peace? Do you want to have another practice? You might want to have another little practice. <laughs> how, are, how are you? All right. I know. This is, this is comical, isn't it? We could put one there. We could practice. We've done the cheese plants. What do I think? Because then, let me just show you, once we've done the, the, the hula girls, there's also the volcano in the background, because there is in Hawaii, plenty of volcanic activity. You see across the back here, let me just show you. This is very easy, but you have to put the girls in first. So you put the girls in, then you make a line, and then you just go along like that and make a volcano in the background. All right? So that's what it's going to look like. If I was to show you a little sneak peek of the coloured version that I've already started practising, there, look. I know. So that's where we're going. Because what I wanted to do, what I thought would be really smashing in the colouring session, would be, you know that kind of retro colour? It's, um, it's very vintage. That's the word, retro, vintage, um, like 50s, 60s. I thought it'd be brilliant if we could, we could try that, just to see how you get that effect, you know, because it is a very, it's very en vogue, isn't it? That, that old vintage -y retro look. And we can do it, we can certainly do it. it is, there are just different color combinations, but I think it would be really lovely with this particular design. Oh, I hope we're not running out of st steam here. I should have changed the batteries. Sorry about that. Right, come on. Let's do one girl, shall we? Now, this is up to you. I'm going for it. I'm going to put one in the, in the actual frame. I might have to change the, the thingy. I might have to reduce my, <laughs> my cheese plants. But, you know, if you didn't want to put a hula girl in, this would be a fantastic... Again, a lovely volcanic scene. You don't have to even put the girls in. Just literally ignore the girls, put the, 
put more cheese plant in, then you've got your your volcano in the background and your ocean, you know. You could do an outrigger, one of those boats with a bit hanging off the side. Look them up, they're lovely. I'm going to stick to the plan though, and I'm going to do a girl, okay? So the girl, again, I'm going to start from here, because what I want you to do between now and tomorrow, hang on, what I want you to do between now and tomorrow, if you get a chance, right, so if that's her feet, her head's going to be about there, five centimetres, right? Yeah, her head's going to be about there, just so that I get the right height. And then, and what we'll do is, so let me just get her in the right place. Where, where, where is she? She's going to be about, her head's going to be about there. Right, there you go. So once we get started, you see, and I'll put her in. And what, what I wanted to say as well is when you're looking at just one girl, you, you're super critical. But when you put one in, right, what happens is when you put the one next to her, then all the hand is, is in front of the next one. And so by the time you've done all three of them, you see, it's not so crucial about the hands. It's not, it's not important because you're overlapping them. You understand? So just one more time. So we put her head in like that, and then we're going to bring her neck in like so. Then we'll bring her arm down because we're going to get a good get a good angle going here. So her arm's going to come through like that and she's going to be just swaying her arms and her hips. So in comes the arm now and we'll just bring that in like so and then down it comes. All right? And she's going to be bringing her arm around like so and then this arm is going to be behind all the flowers. So let me just put what I think to be flowers in. I can put them in later properly. Just want to get the shape in, don't I? Then her arm's going to come across like that. So there's her shoulder, then her elbow, and then across she comes like so. So this is the other arm coming round the back now. And then she's got her flowers bit there. So we just put a little flower in there. And then her hand, like that. of course she's got a long arm, hasn't she? Right, better shorten her arm a bit. There you go, there's a hand, like so. That'll work. And then this one, there's her There's her other hand. We'll cut this one, because she's dancing. Like that. And then now she's got the hip, hip dress on. So it's hanging on the hips, like so. There you go. And then out comes the, the skirt. And there's that bit, and then that bit comes like that. So that comes like so. And then the foot comes in. In comes the leg. Like that. Down it comes. She's, she's, there you go. There's that foot. Poor blimey. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I told you, it doesn't always come out the way you want it to, does it? There you go, there's the other leg, this one, this will be better. In comes this leg, bit of a calf. <laughs> so good, <laughs> doesn't know whether she's half or half or look. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Right, let's just put a flower in her hair. Let's <laughs> concentrate on the hair. Lovely, lovely. Here we are. It's not bad. <laughs> You've got to have some fun. Whose leg is this? Is this hers? <laughs> ah, be lovely by tomorrow. I feel like she's quite top heavy, isn't she? She's got like a really long body. <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> she looks better. Look, her legs, look, isn't it funny how you can, by making the body so much longer, that is hilarious. It's because I made her arms so long. <laughs> so you bring the whole thing up so that her legs aren't so... Aren't we glad that we do it in pencil first, eh? You see what I mean? Let's make her, make her arms not so long. Like, that's her arm now. Right, arm first. Right, we don't have to even worry about the lay and all that. We can sort that out afterwards. Right, let's get the shape right first, isn't it? Right, body. So then I think now, I reckon, yeah, that's more... I think we need to get the skirt up a bit, don't we? That's it. So if we bring the skirt up to there, then we've got more of a chance with the leg. The leg looked a bit ropey, didn't it? Yeah, but do you know what? It's fun. And there you go. Now I start to look more like, less like an elephant's hoof and more like a foot. <laughs> I went to a luau years ago in, um, in Hawaii. Uh, which is like a party, if you like, and they put a, like a, a hog in the ground in leaves and, the, in it, in, and they smoke it for a day. I think they put it in the night before. And um, I went to a locals one, like proper, not a touristy one. And um, it, was, it was amazing to see, you know, the girls, like proper, authentic, not just for tourists. It was great. And... Uh, and they and they are so beautiful and so spirit. It's so spiritual, actually. It's um, it's wonderful. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to work on her a little bit. Fortunately, I hit I hit a Nirvana at the weekend. <laughs> but you know what? The the part that the point I'm making here because she's rubbish, right? But the thing is, first of all, I don't care because I know that I, I just need to put her waist up a little bit and fiddle around a little bit. It's, it's, not, it's not important. And you have to understand that. It's, it's, don't, don't beat yourself up. Look, I'm, this is rubbish. And I'm deliberately pursuing it so that you understand that it, 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 it's just, it's normal to have to rub out and try again and rub out and try again. You know, all, all artists do that. Nobody goes to go straight to the canvas and gets it right. Trust me, it's not like that, you know. I'm just probably the only one who, who doesn't care and, and is happy to show you that it, it's, it is an instant, okay. And, and I would be doing you a disservice if I pretended that it was easy to do a hula girl and a skirt and get the arm right and get the, you know, because it's not that easy. But, but I can give you tips. Trace in paper, do one, copy her three times. You only have to get her right once, you know, and, uh, and have fun with it. Have fun with it, you know. And if she's a little bit on the, on the chunky side, that's all right. Maya Angelou, you know. Does my sassiness offend you? It's all good. So I'm going to have a go at her later. I'm going to put three in. You've got your cheese plants now. And, uh, and what I want you to do is, if you, if you get a chance, put your girls in, put your cheese plant in, ink it up, and then we'll be ready to go tomorrow. If by chance um, you're, you're not keen on the hula go and it just isn't happening, right? Don't worry about that either. Just park it. Right, save that for another day. Do something different. You've got loads of ideas. Do the, do the volcanoes, you know, you do a tropical fish, do whatever you fancy. It's your art, right? And then, and then you, what you can do is, Jim's going to, after this session, Jim's going to put a digital download of my finished one with the three girls in it um, on uh, the Clarity website. And you can just print it off. You print off as many as you fancy, okay? And you can print you can print off the girls and you can trace them. If you've got a light wave, stick that underneath. If you're not comfortable, just trace it if you're not happy with what you're doing. There's always a way to get to where you want, 
There's always a way. You just have to figure it out, you know? Never give up, never give up. Certainly not over something like this. <laughs> really not. I mean, it'd be different if I said, right, and now you've got to get a grass skirt on and we've all got to actually do a live performance of Meli Kalikimaka. <laughs> all we're doing is little stick people, okay? Enjoy it, have fun with it, because that's all this is. In the end, it's not how we perform, it's that we are, that we are doing something, that we're just hanging out together and we're having a laugh and we're trying to draw a hula girl. I mean, you know, that's like, why did I do algebra at school? I don't know, I never used algebra after I left school. Did you? I, you know, Pythagoras, what was that all about? It would have helped if they'd, if they'd, told me how to open a bank account and how to write a check out, that would have been more useful, or the, how VAT works, you know. But, but there you go, that's the way it is. And, and it's the same here. I mean, I doubt very much that you're drawing a hula girl or not drawing a hula girl is going to change the shape of your life, all right? It's just fun, harmless fun. And, and it's a massive distraction. And I'll tell you one thing, in the last hour, while you've been doing hula girls, you haven't been thinking about COVID-19, about nutters in Bournemouth on the beach, none of that, none of that. Whether the social distancing is one metre or two metres or one and a half metres and how long is that and can I go and should I go and must I? Whatever, right? We haven't thought about any of that. All we've been worried about is how long her skirt is and how chunky her ankles are. <laughs> perfect absolutely perfect and on that happy note I will love you and leave you don't forget get your print out because you can practice your co your colors because we want to get that retro look I think it'll be so lovely you know and also you can you can practice a little bit and try different try different tricks okay so Stuart thank you very much for helping us in the room today and, uh, and I know we didn't get much done, but we did, in, we did as well. We did as well. We actually did. And tomorrow we'll start colouring, okay? So what you need tomorrow is colouring pencils. I'm going to bring me polychromos and my pergoliners along to the party. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. It'll be all right. It will be fine. And we will have a good week. Okay. So thank you for joining me. Be safe. Be happy. Be creative. And... Uh, yeah, and I shall see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I must change these batteries, otherwise you won't. I'll see you later. Aloha. <laughs>